Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you. Now listen, the reason I'm sharing all these things with you, taking our text from the book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 16, where Jesus said, Ought not this woman, who is the daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound these 18 long years, should be, she shouldn't, shouldn't she be loosed from her infirmity on the Sabbath day? Now, the Lord has spoken to me and he said, Listen, this year is the year of the seed. And what seed is he talking about? He's talking about the seed, Christ. He's talking about you who have believed in Christ. Just like Galatians 3.29 says, if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. So God, God has designated blessings for you. God, there are things God has set apart that belong to you. There are inheritances that God has set for you. See, because you're the seed of God, you have your name in the book of life. And because your name is in the book of life, there are things... I've, I've, listen, the book of life is not just a book that contains a list of names. You know, now, it's, it's like a software that contains every program. Now, your name is the code for your page, for your, for your books. So, each name has books, several books behind it, see? So, when your name is brought out... You know, from the book of life. I don't, I don't mean wiped off. I mean called out, you know, from the, in the book of life. You are going to see things that God has ordained for your life. You are going to see blessings that God has said. So when he says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, they are thoughts of good and not of evil. See? So God has thoughts, not just thoughts. Plans he has actually executed where you're concerned. Now, a lot of you don't know this. That before even you were born, before you were created, there were inheritances that God laid up for you. I, 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 wish, I, I wish you can um, you, you can just get this truth to settle in your heart. There are lots of things that God has planned for you, but you don't know it. The, the reason you're struggling is because you don't know it. You are, you were born to live. You know, in the book of Revelation, it says he has made us a kingdom of priests. Now, I wish you understand. Listen. Listen. The Bible said the, the, the Old Testament was a shadow, right, of things to come. Now, he says that we have been made a kingdom of priests. Then we go to the Old Testament to find out how did the priests live their lives. You will see that they, they, they lived their life in such royalty. They were so respected. Everything was taken care of for them. Now that's the life that God has planned for you. So much so that he released angels to do stuff for you. In Hebrews, he says the angels, they are ministering spirits sent for to minister for those who shall be heirs of salvation. Angels have been sent for your help. Now, the Lord has told me that in these days, when I mean in these days, this, especially these months that we are in, there are lots of activities of angels. Listen, there's going to be lots of transfer of inheritance. Now, when I mean transfer of inheritance, it's been in the hands of the wrong people. Now, it's moving over to the right people. That's what's taking place. And a lot is going on. Listen, God is doing an inspection in this period. Now, hear me. What's the inspection? He is taking his book and he is looking at your life to see how your life corresponds with the book that he has written concerning you. And he is not doing this because you are the best Christian. He is not doing it because you have lived so right. He is doing this because of his name's sake. Praise God. He is doing it because of his name. Because, see, hear me. If you have a child, for example, now, no matter how bad that child has been there is a responsibility that you have towards that child see you're not going to say because this child has so misbehaved i'm going to take him off my wheel you are a joker praise god you are a joker that child is still your child no matter how bad he is now you will only pray and instruct the child that the child should turn out right but the truth is no matter what that child what life that child choose to live so you find parents say well 
I will do my part. I will send you to school. I will give you all the things that I, whatever you do with it, that's your business. See? So it's the same thing that God is doing in this season. He is doing it because you are a seed. I want you to get that settled in your mind. Now, if you squander your inheritance, that's your business. If you've not been trained in the ways of, of, of the Spirit of God, if you've not spent time to, to, to allow the Spirit of God train you, you will lose eventually at the end. Now, but if you have trained yourself, it will be much, it will be like double gain for you. But hear me, God is separating his seed in this season for a blessing. And if you belong to Christ, then get ready for a miracle today. Things are going to be happening in your life. Blessings that you least expected. Jobs that you think you have lost. Maybe you applied for certain jobs. You thought maybe they didn't take you. They are calling you back as long as that job is written against your name in the book of life. There is so much doors that the Lord have opened for his children in this season. You are going to be receiving an unusual favor that you've never imagined before in your life. That's what's going to be happening from this month of June. And that's what God is doing. So get ready. Don't just get ready. Get up. Praise his name. Bless him. Thank him for all that he's done for you. Because you are going to be seeing results. You're going to be seeing favor. You're going to be seeing testimonies that you've never seen in your whole life. And now you'll be wondering, what's going on? That's why I'm teaching you this thing. So you know what's going on. God has come and he has declared that it's the Sabbath. And because it's the Sabbath, his seed will get what belongs to them. Praise God. I've got to stop here. Now we'll continue next week and, and I trust that the Lord will help us. And listen, this weekend, go out and receive testimonies for your life. Go out and show forth that you are a child of God and be proud about it. God bless you. Bye-bye.